It's on like Donkey Kong. I'm doing the minimalist game so I can declutter my home before the Christmas season. And you're coming with me. Hey lovelies, it's Dre with Clueless Mama D here and we are going from Clueless to I Got This on the Minimalist game. For those of you who don't know this game, it's totally awesome, especially if you're like me and you totally need to get rid of some stuff, but you just don't have that drive to do it all at once. The Minimalist game is perfect for that because every day of the month of November or whichever month you choose to do it, we get rid of one item each day. So I had to get rid of one item on the first and seven items on the 7th and it's awesome because at the end of the month I'll be getting rid of 400 and I think 60 items for my home which is perfect because Christmas is coming up. There's some awesome channels who are stepping up to the minimalist game challenge and they are going to be decluttering in the playlist which is in my description so if you need that motivation girl I got you or boy. I got you too. But make sure you go ahead and subscribe wherever the little button is and hit the bell. That is the most important. And then you and I can chat all the time. I do chat in the comments. Okay, this is how I did last week. I have no clue if that's the proper song. But for November 1st, I'm getting rid of this. I'm gonna donate this Superman costume. I actually had planned to sell it for like the last two years before Halloween. But since it's November 1st and it's still in my home, I guess I just super sucked. Good morning, guys. For today, the second day of November, I'm going to be getting rid of my MacBook and my dear iPhone. Now that I'm starting my minimalism journey, I just figure, you know, online just doesn't fit in with that. There's so much clutter and distraction online, so I'm definitely gonna sell these. <laughs> crazy you didn't really think I was gonna get rid of my cell phone and my MacBook did you guys honestly how am I gonna communicate with you guys no for real this is what I'm gonna get rid of these two bowls here that my dear son has claimed please don't ask me what he's doing I have no clue he took them off of the counter but I've basically had these since my niece's birthday and we don't really need these big purple dollar store bowls so I'm just gonna give it back to them get out of the bowl dude <laughs> guys so for day three I already know what I'm gonna declutter it's in my storage area and guys there's gonna be a whole separate video on organizing this godforsaken area in my home but these three TV stands no one uses these TV stands and they have been just standing here collecting dust and they're also like really used so day three is donezo with these guys so we are back in the dungeon aka storage closet and this is actually a bag my daughter has left open because she was looking for her Halloween costume. It's actually a bunch of clothing and costumes that I saved from my youth for her and she actually wears some of the stuff now so we go through it kind of like every six months as her style changes and this is totally not minimalist to save your stuff from when you're young but I just think it's so fun. Anyways while she was rooting through the here I did see some things um, that I don't want to save anymore. One is these shoes. I actually have another box, again, not minimalist, but I have another box with a bunch of her baby stuff. So there's cuter shoes that I think if she has a girl, she would rather save those. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate these. Uh, yeah, those are getting donated. Plus this bag, I think she's outgrown this style, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Or give that to my niece, actually, one of my nieces. And this is randomly in here. I think this is an error, so yeah, we don't have a little girl, so. <laughs> Like, I've gotten rid of boots that I saved for her before, uh, taller ones. These ones are definitely going to go because they just did not save well. Remember the style comment? If you totally remember that toe that used to be in style, I'm sure it will come back. And I literally think there was only one boot in here, but um, 
Let's see, we got a backpack. Here is a little like piece of God knows what fabric. You know what, I might add this to my craft stuff. I'm actually gonna save that because I might end up using that. Check these out guys. Look at these space snow boots that I used to wear. Oh my gosh, these are crazy. But she can definitely wear these as a costume. And have, I used to wear these platform. They're in here somewhere. I'm gonna have to fold this, but I want to show you guys. Where are you? Where are you? I had the coolest denim platform boots ever. Okay, so after totally rooting through this, I guess she had taken them out and put them in her room, but these are them, guys. I used to totally, totally rock these denim knee-high boots in the club with like a denim jumper and I, I'm totally saving these. I don't know where she put them in her closet for. It's not like she can wear them. I truly, for some reason, only have one boot and I bet you it's cause I got rid of them the last time she poked through this drawer, so. So tonight I went and picked through some of the decor items that I'm just not going to use. I'll probably wish I kept this for something. I don't know. But uh, this I picked up for the Goodwill Challenge to make a centerpiece for the summer. But then I really didn't like the way it ended up looking. I'll show you what it looked like. Um, and I ended up switching it for something else, which I would probably continue to do next year if I go with the same idea. These I made a while ago. I've had them for quite some time. I actually had them, I think, at my wedding, or maybe I made them for a baby shower. But anyways, they're just sitting here and I have no use for them, so I will try to sell those. Um, they're really cute mason jars that were painted and then just have some flowers. So there's three of those and then, yeah, just a, a random, random, random tablecloth that's been sitting here forever. So I just, I don't know, hopefully Goodwill gives that for free. All right, November 6th, I attacked my closet. I found six pieces that I just haven't worn in a long time. This is actually a pretty cute top, but I never go for it, especially since it's more of a work top for me and it's freezing at my work. So that's one. I have this denim jacket, which is like the crop type, and it's actually a child's from Old Navy. So the sleeves were always short for me, and my daughter's not gonna like that either. So I just don't wear that crop style anymore. So that's two. And I've got this blazer, and the last time I tried it on, it's from H&M, it didn't fit. I've outgrown it, the button wouldn't do up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that for three. This thing, I don't know what this is. I usually wore this with tights um, to work, but the last time I put it on, I just felt like it was too short, even with like thick tights. So I'm gonna get rid of this, and that's from Dynamite. And this sweater is an American Eagle sweater, and somewhere in the knitting it has a hole. And I actually don't know where. I do love this sweater, but I don't know how to knit. Can't be bothered. And whenever I wear it, somebody points out that there's like a hole. So I'm giving up on this one. This sweater I picked up at a thrift store. It had a really cool look, but I've never worn it. I've tried it on a few times. Let's get a better angle for you. I've tried it on a few times and then I just never ever wear it. So I'm getting rid of this. And again, it's a work sweater, so it's very thin and my work, I'm always freezing guys. Comment below if you are cold most of the time, that's totally me. And yeah, I think that was six pieces. Yeah, so that was definitely six pieces. I'm actually gonna put these for sale with some other items. I'm sure I'm gonna be back during the rest of this challenge to really nitpick through things because I'm sure there's some other things that I don't really need and then I will try to sell everything as a lot. What, what? It's the last day in your face minimalist game. <laughs> I'm getting all cocky with week one. I'm getting rid of poor Peter Rabbit because it is a pop-up book. And yeah, as you can see, if you know my channel, my toddler is cray cray. So nothing really lasts long like that. Speaking of which, 
these, I, I mean, I don't really know why these boxes are, I think they're Melissa and Doug and they're made out of cardboard. And that's just a bad idea for a toddler, I think. So these are pretty beat up. So those are going, uh, the two of them that were beat up. So he, yeah, he knows his alphabet pretty good. He'll understand some are missing. This I will donate, it's unopened, and we never, we don't have these kinds of things. Somebody gave it to us as, as a gift. This is a notepad that was in our drawer that I've been using to hold my glue that falls out of my glue stick, so that can go. A baby comb for my little guy, oh my gosh, a little baby comb. And this book, honestly, I just don't like the way this book looks. It looks like it's like so ancient. I think it was my husband's a long time ago. And you know what? No one's ever, ever, ever going to look at this. So that's being donated as well. All right, guys, that was it. Let me know which was your favorite day items that I got rid of. Next week is definitely going to be a challenge when the numbers get bigger. Comment below and let me know what tricks and tips you do to declutter your home. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean and decorate for the Christmas season, which is an open collab. If you're a YouTuber, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Instagram, you can join that. But it's definitely one of my favorite collabs that I do with Kristen from Kristen's Chaotic Life. And I definitely want you guys to join me on that because I love Christmas. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And you can check out these videos, how I decorated last year for Christmas. And I have a whole bunch of minimalist games. So you can totally check those if you need more inspiration and the playlist in the description. Till next week, when we do next week, if that makes any sense. Love you lovelies. Mwah.